What's up guys? Today it's Roy. Welcome to another video and I'll be showing you some build hacks for the new sculpt blocks. So as you can see, number two is a nice um, we skipped number one though. Um, I find that this reinforced deep slate looks really good with walls and it looks really good with endstone. So if you were building in creative mode and had access to it, this is a very good combo because it kind of it holds it together and it's nice structural framing. Um, and then obviously, I love this. Um, the trick with these is go ham. Like just put them down. Just put them down see if you like them. Um, same with the blue light. Um, I got some armor stands to make cushions on the couch. There's some other, you know, tips in here. This is a nice kitchen mat. Um, it helps to add a different block under it so that you, um, so that you can really see it. And also this shrieker makes a good garbage disposal because it's swirling gunk. Just like your garbage disposal at home probably. Nice pantry here. Um, so there's a variety of tips and tricks here. I do find that the, um, that the whole block palette itself looks really good with Skulk. This um, cyan terracotta, gray concrete, cyan and everything looks really good together. I also really like the look of it with glow lichen, and uh, I like it in the aquarium. Uh, another trick is like uh, for a shower mat, so you can you can have your stuff, and then it also looks really good as mold. Like in real life, there's a lot of mold everywhere. Um, so yeah, these are what I've been enjoying. I like this painting with it. Um, let's go up on the roof. This is a nice little fire escape style thing. I love these umbrellas. Um, really, really nice touch. And this little bench here made with some trap doors. Um, you, can actually, you can actually sit in it if you... Um, not really sit, but you can stand in it. Um, either way, I also find that these reinforced deep slate look really good as industrial pipes. Um, so maybe if you had a rooftop or some sort of factory, you could put some of those in. Uh, obviously, sea pickle cups. Those things are amazing. Um, let's go down to the next one. Um, ambiently, these look really good next to the um, skull. So the next one would be pollution. Um, so it goes really well with the slime block and the copper. It kind of brings the copper and the slime together. Dead coral in there, maybe a named glow squid or something. Um, it looks really good. Um, also, this is a nice picnic basket I set up. Um, either way, moving right along, we have uh, boot scrubbers. If you've ever been to, these are really popular, you know, where there's clay, mud. Um, it's very common, people will scrub their boots off before they go inside. And when you do go inside, these make really good dark windows, so if you wanted a spooky cabin feel, um, that would be a great way to do that. Um, so, moving right along, um, crates. So I find that these look really nice. They kind of look like uh, the glow squid ink, so you could maybe have some sort of stand selling glow squid and you could put these in it. Um, I also really like the underside of the block for crates. Uh, it's kind of holding it together. And then lastly, the it's like a good gradient smoother. So if you have a gradient, as you can see, I'm going from black stone all the way to smooth stone. And um, it works really effectively to just kind of pull in the textures together and give them something in common. And um, gives it that creepy vibe. And it also makes it look taller than it is if you start with dark and move up to light. So, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of um, what I've been playing around with. If you have any other ideas, you can leave them in the comments below. But, um, yeah, just some build tips. I did fireplace just to hide the windows because I wanted it to look good on the inside and outside. But um, if you have any other ideas, leave them in the comments below. And uh, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all later. Bye.